Okay, here we're looking at the CRKT igniter. A few specs on the knife. Overall length of the knife is 7.5 inches. Blade length is 3.4 inches. Closed length is 4.2 inches. Weight is 3.5 ounces, which surprises me. There's quite a bit of steel on this knife. Steel backspacer, steel clips, steel liners. Fairly thick blade, but that's what they say it is. It feels a little heavier than that to me, but that's what they say. So, uh, Blade steel is 8 CR14 MOV. It's a modified drop point, as you can see there. It's a hollow grind. Um, the liners are stainless steel. As you can see, it's a liner lock. And they get it about right on the liner lock, I'd say. I don't like it when they're so stiff that you can barely move it. Um, you don't want them so floppy that they don't, you're worried they're not getting engaged. They, I think they got this one about right. Uh, scales on this G10. Again, I think they did a really good job on that. Um, some G10 scales, they're just too slippery. Others are so grippy that you feel like you can't get them out of your pocket. I guess it depends what you're doing with it, but this one's a nice mix. They've got this little design pattern on here, which I think looks pretty cool. Plus, you know, Probably gives you a little extra traction there. It's not pinned, it's screwed together construction, as you can see there. The pocket clip is way too shiny for my liking. This is one of them I'll probably bead blast it eventually. Where I work they have a bead blaster, a little, little one. It's in a about a two foot by two foot cabinet, so I'm going to see if I can borrow that one day. And bead blast some of my clips and whatnot on some of my knives. Um, it does have a real real decent finger choil and then you've got that pommel there. So it feels really good. No jimping there but uh, probably not super necessary on this knife. I, I think the primary goal of this was to be an EDC knife. I think the blade's a little bit long for that. I uh, compare it to my scallion here. For EDC the scallion just gets it right in just about every way possible. Some people like a little bit longer blade though so I guess that's up to the individual. Alright, something unique about this knife if you've watched other people's videos or gone on to CRKT's website, it has First of all, it has the outburst technology. This one has a big spring bar in it. It's hard to see it. It's that black bar down in there. So it is assisted. Just barely have to push it out a little bit. That's what they call the outburst technology. CRKT calls it. But this one's also got the fire safe. That's a real interesting little system when the blades inside it's really locked in I mean it can't come out by accident it's you can't just pull it out but there's no external safety it's actually attached to the thumb stud here if I tap it you can hear that move a little bit and as you can see it moves you can see it move the liner lock I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pin right there that locks into the blade, so the blade can't move. So what you have to do is first push that to release the blade, and then just move it out just, just barely, and it'll just fly right out of there. Um, 
one thing they caution, and I found this, is you have to make sure you really, you want to hear that click, you want it to engage. If you just partially engage it, it can flip open on you real easy. It's nice that it opens good, but got to be careful about that. Also opening it, I've a couple times just not caught it quite right, and I don't know, sort of half open it and half not or something, but you just want to make sure you open it, you know, commit to it. Just push that in and flip it out. Uh, very easy to open one-handed, obviously. Very easy to close one-handed. Um, I like the knife, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to carry it because of the size. It's a nice one for my collection. I enjoy it. May end up giving that one away to for somebody for a gift, but so far I'm kind of liking it. It's fairly thin, fairly stout. You know, overall, I give it fairly high marks. Um, something about CRKT and... and couple other cold steel, some of the manufacturers, they just like shiny stuff. Um, I Maybe I must too. I mean, I bought the knife, so maybe it worked on me, but... <laughs> it's a nice knife. I like it. So... Oh, price. About 40 bucks. So you're not into it for a whole lot of money to try it out. I mean, as an EDC knife, it's pretty good. Just a little bit too big. I guess that's about my only main complaint besides all the shiny bits. Thanks for watching.